Welcome to another tips and tricks video. This video demonstrates how you can reuse an existing Fluent setup from previous Fluent cases rather than starting the setup from scratch. There are three methods to accomplish this. The first method involves using the existing Fluent case. For instance, if you prefer to work with a finer mesh, you can generate the mesh and then import it into your Fluent case. The second method is using a journal file. Uh, and the third and most robust method involves utilizing the text user interface. Let's go to Fluent to demonstrate all three methods. In the first method, I want to use a finer mesh. So I already have uh, the Fluent uh, case with the uh, mesh uh, that has uh, around uh, 100 uh, case cells and uh, I want to use um, another mesh. Uh, also in this case that I already have, uh, I already, uh, uh, I already uh, selected all of the necessary setups like uh, I have uh, my uh, turbulence model here set up. I also have the all of the boundary conditions like I have the inlet velocity set up here and also I have uh, some default uh, some report definitions uh, that is already set up in my fluent case. Now I'm going to use a finer mesh to it. Uh, what you need to do you just uh, go to file, read the mesh, and uh, you just say that replace mesh. We want to have all of the setup, so we don't want to discard the case. Uh, so we read the mesh, we click on continue, and then we choose the fluent uh, mesh that um, has the finer cells in it. And then it's gonna read your uh, new mesh to the existing fluent case setup. This method, it's the easiest method other than the other two methods, but sometimes, um, is not working. Uh, so it's not a very robust method, but, um, most of the time that you just change a little bit, um, I mean, if you change the mesh, but you don't change any and name surface or you don't change a lot or adding a new part of the geometry to your mesh mm, uh, it works but if you make some complicated um, changes uh, sometimes it cannot uh, I mean uh, recognize all the zones uh, and it failed and the second method is using the journal file Let's see how we can uh, use the journal file to save uh, our setup. Uh, I have this uh, fluent case open and uh, let's uh, read the mesh. So I want to have this mesh. And now I want to start set up my boundary conditions uh, and all the report definition that I want. And uh, before setting up, you need to go to file write and then a start journal and let's say i want to name it fluent fluent setup fluent setup case one for example so i'm going to save it and let's say i want to have a transient model and then i want to have uh, K epsilon and then I want to add the velocity of uh, 15 and I also want to have some uh, report definition let's say I want to have my uh, mass flow rate inlet So now this I'm done with the setup. What you need to do now, 
Mm, also, if you need to, I don't know, just uh, go to um, uh, run calculation. If you want to set up your time step, let's say zero zero one, uh, the number of time step, let's say hundred. Now I have everything set up. You need to go to write again, and this time a stop journal. Now you, if you go to the folder. You can see that you have a file named Fluent Setup Case that I already have, and I can uh, reuse this setup for the future um, uh, cases that I want to run in uh, Fluent. Let's say how that works now. Uh, if I open another Fluent, Uh, and now this time I want to have the same setup on my new mesh. Let's go and read the new mesh that I have. So now the mesh is here. Uh, instead of going and choose transient and all the setup that I already uh, want, I go to read. And this time I go read the journal file. And let's find it. And uh, this is the journal file. And now, when I read it, it automatically set up all of uh, the um, the setting that I chose for the previous uh, fluent case. For example, if we go to inlet velocity, it should be 15 meter per second, mm, and uh, it should be transient model and the. Uh, this cost should be k epsilon. These are all the setup that I uh, already saved in the journal file. Uh, using a journal file is a good method, but if you have a lots of report definition or if you need to make lots of surfaces and points uh, because there are too many clicks, uh, sometimes uh, reading that journal file uh, is gonna uh, fail. So if you have lots of report definition, lots of surfaces and points, uh, I uh, recommend uh, um, using the third method. And so in the third method, let's say I already have all of the setup uh, definition in the first uh, mesh that I have. Uh, what you can do, and let's say you forgot to save the journal file, uh, what Mm, you can do is you just use this um, console um, uh, windows and if you write down file if you click uh, enter you can see there is um, uh, an option for write setting you can uh, uh, write down write setting and then you need to uh, choose the name of the output file that you are going to save. I'm going to uh, name it Fluent Setup Case 2. It is going to save it in the folder that you have your Fluent uh, Case save. So I click on it now it write down all of the setup that I have in this case. And now uh, let's say I want to use that setup in my new mesh. Uh, if I go to another fluent case and I read the mesh, and now you need to copy and paste the setup that you have in the same folder. So this is the setup that I have and uh, you need to save this case that you already have. So I'm going to just uh, save that one on the same folder so you, I don't need to copy and paste it. So let's call it um, uh, Fluent Case 2. I save it, uh, I save the case file. And now I need to use that uh, setting again. So what I'm going to do in the console, you click enter and again use the file. 
and if you click enter again you can see that there is uh, one um, uh, one option as reading the setting so if I write down reading the setting now I need to uh, write down the uh, name of the um, the, uh, the input file so I forgot the name so the name was um, full and setup case too I can even copy and paste that one and then just um, uh, control V uh, and it's gonna paste the name of the setup file that I have and if you click enter it's gonna read the setup that you have in the um, previous case now you can see that it changed to transient and then uh, the method that I have for the viscosity is the k epsilon and I, I should have the inlet velocity of 15 here and all the other setup that I uh, use for report definition among the three methods uh, this is the most uh, robust method that you can use uh, saving your uh, fluent case setup and using it in the future as you need uh, in this uh, tips and tricks video, you learned how to save uh, the fluent setup and use it in the future. Thanks for watching.